here in Napier for this third one-day game, and it's crucial for England to put it a good performance. They're 2-0 down in the series. They cannot afford any more mistakes. Yesterday, we had a baking hot day. Today, overcast. There's a little bit of rain around, but the locals say we'll be fine. That's good. And the wicket, it looks good. To me, Steve Fleming will probably do the same. Yes, we have the two captains in place out here in the middle, along with match referee Dennis Lindsay from South Africa. Gentlemen, it's all yours. Heads is the call. Stephen, you've won the toss. Well done. Uh, what are you going to do? Oh, we're going to have a bowl first. OK, first of all, your thoughts behind that decision? Uh, it looks very good. It's been a bit of moisture around. The covers have been on for, uh, for about an hour this morning. Um, so there could be a little bit of moisture there. And, and traditionally, games have been one batting second. Bring in now Nessa, saying the England captain, Ness, you've lost the toss. Your thoughts on that for starters? Yeah, I don't think it's a bad toss to lose. To be honest, history says that um, you know batting seconds, a, a bit of, if you win the game, last five out of six have won. Uh, but it looks pretty good wickets. Obviously, had the covers on, might do a little bit, bit of bounce, it'll go through. Uh, but that's pretty good quick conditions, really. Okay. No, it's we're the same side. We messed up in Wellington, same side, going to have to put it right here. Okay, Nessa, thanks for joining us. Okay, good luck. Not. So there we are, then. The toss has been made out here in the middle. Stephen Fleming has won it for New Zealand, and he is elected to field first. Here comes Stephen Fleming and the clear back caps. New Zealand got off to a brilliant start in the uh, VB series in Australia. Their form fell away towards the end in the finals against South Africa. But Marcus Trescothic will once again keep wicket for England today. James Foster again playing part ground. Got off to a promising start in Christchurch. Brave move by the selectors. Throwing balls out of five attempts. That's a nice shot from Trescothic. Straight back past the bowler. Daniel Vittori is in pursuit. Early morning rain has uh, slowed down this outfield. Daryl Tuffy, the bowler. Knight wants a second run. And he gets there. That's a nice stroke. Is that going to reach the boundary? It's going to make it. Lovely shot. First boundary of the England innings. Do that with Nick Knight. And concentration and determination from Nick Knight. Just in the left-hander slot, that full-length ball, roundabout leg stump. Knight down the track. That's the way through extra cover. The Tories in pursuit. He's not going to get there. Second boundary for Nick Knight. Premeditated. He's on his way. Just gives himself a touch of room outside leg stump, Nick Knight. And he gets the bounce. He takes the ball on top of the bounce. It's just a slap. Comedy of errors out there. Once again, no chance of stealing the single. Knight uh, sent back. Won't be any spikes in the heels of those uh, boots. Could have been a very, very embarrassing dismissal for Nick Knight. Creamed away through the covers. That's a magnificent stroke from Marcus Treskothic. He starts his boundary tally. None at Christchurch and one at Wellington. And then climbs into this ball. That's a super shot, isn't it? Just times the pants off that. Three slips waiting. That's through. Past the bowler. And Treskothic will come back for the second. through the leg side Knight is strong through there it's nothing more than a push Andre Adams uh, the fielder a little bit slippy a little bit greasy great stop it's Harris at backward point Bowler will be delighted with his fielder Chris Harris one of the best 
in that position. Up there with the likes of Ricky Ponting, Jonty Rhodes. It's in the air, but over mid on. And well over mid on. Didn't think he'd middle that at first, but it's uh, gone for four. Interesting, what he seemed to do was to drag the ball down, and that's been dragged down and it's been punished. Another good stop, but the ball is starting to find the middle of Triscothic's bat. Vincent that time with the... Well, he's got plenty of bat on that. Clubbed away over mid-wicket for four. Adams too short yet again. Well, tried to hit the one before too hard. He's hit this one very hard. Brings the 50 up. As you were saying about this length. in the air and just uh, safely over cover dragged back by Vincent but I think the intention is very clear from and that's uh, four more so Adams has uh, got some thinking to do here after two really good games England just uh, can't find that uh, length at the moment Deep mid wicket in place. That's skewed away uh, high over cover. Harris backtracking. Triscothic's got the bit between his teeth now. He's playing a shot of ball. Oh, that's a glorious stroke. Uh, perhaps if he was trying to hit them too hard off Adams, there was no intention there. That's just uh, very good shot, as you say. Full control there. Good running. Knight with the call. Oh, and there's going to be overthrows here. Could be two. There is. So three off the delivery. And some uh, blacks backing up, I think. Fours to Marcus Triscothic, who's just pressed the accelerator now. Gone. Sliced it away this time. Harris takes the catch. And just as Triscothic was starting to get going, he's holed out to Harris. Well, straight to Chris Harris. He doesn't make mistakes. Well taken, but... As that wicket goes, his rain comes in. Mark Scothic's gone for 41. It's 71 for one. Nasser Hussain's out there in the middle with uh, Nick Knight. Just comes in off a short run up, but he's a little bit above medium pace. To get himself going, which will in turn get England going again. Intentionally hit in the air and down the ground. Safe option because the mid-off is quite square. That's nicely played by Hussain. That's the shot he was looking for. And this time the ball was just right. Well, a few words. Improvisation from Knight, and it's worked very well. Uh, maybe Nick Knight thinks that as well, because that's a heck of a reverse sweep. The key to these is uh, getting them timed right. So often you see players play them at the top edge, and they're embarrassed by it, but not on that occasion. I was quite amazed to see that when Giles was getting picked off the other the other night, that he wouldn't wasn't prepared. No to change round the wicket change. is there an edge on that there's a big appeal Billy Bowden says that's a wide well down the leg side no doubt about it no reaction from the keeper whatsoever until he sees everyone else drop the jump and then uh, supports lately but Billy Bowden spot on that's exactly what we're saying there's been three singles already in the over then there's a boundary, so England are four balls, have scored seven runs.
and that's I think the way they've got to look to play it. It's not a case of all oh, the score of 12 runs and over now. That's that's 27 overs uh, gone. England 121 for one. Knighton has uh, used a lot of time up to get their eye in, get them adjusted to the pace of the pitch. That's gone fine. There'll be uh, two here at least. Knight will want three. It's very good running. Nick Knight had <laughs> bowled him round his legs. Harris gets to a fraction quicker from Harris. And Hussain has gone for 24 in 48 balls just as he was looking to get set just as he should have been set he's out well it's premeditated sweep shot again well I'm not a fan of it I'm sure Nasser Hussain isn't at this moment in time he's gone for 24 it's 127 for 2 and Graham thought immediately away got away with one short ball outside the off stump to him doesn't get away with the second feel sure that you'll be looking at 250 they'll go for two here and thought ran the first run quickly no. square again with a sweep brings a single Daniel Vittori in his seventh over. Goes for the reverse again. There'll be two more. Cairns has to chase round once again. Yay! Up in the air, a good attempt. Lou Vincent moving backwards difficult to judge that ball he threw deep again from Nick Knight I'll say again square of the wicket or behind there's plenty of room down the ground plenty one bounce two bounces over the rope fine piece of timing good he's moved on to 16 from 19 deliveries he's such a good solid left hander shot Hitting with the spin, he gets the width that he wants outside off stump. Astounding, it's good. But against England, it's a real worry. It's a good shot, good drive through the offside. It'll be at least two here. Another long throw. Is it fielded? It is fielded. It's well fielded. Millen's the man that did the fielding. I think he did very well. I think he got it with his back. And, uh, good improvisation again from Thorpe. And that's the end of Tuffy's spell. Good over for England, nine from it. Ten overs, none for 39. That's a nice shot, but just short of the man. I think Graham thought when he hit that, thought he'd hit it too. Two more balls of this, Harris. Over. And it's got through the gap. Now, we've had some rain, but I think he's timed that well enough. McKnight and that's a boundary. It's a good draining ground here in Shexley. Beautiful shot from Knight. Just his fourth boundary, which shows he really has uh, just worked it around with his ones and twos and has been very patient. Now it's time to pick off anything he can. Nicely. Just the uh, single there off the last ball, but uh, six from that over. So 42 gone. It's 190 for two. Oh, 
Will toss and smash. Now this could go to the boundary. Again, excellent feeling. Millen again. And he's done well. Must uh, gone. Caught behind. Beautiful bit of bowling cans. So a fine innings from Nick Knight uh, comes to an end. Good ball from New Zealand's premier fast bowler. It's that slower ball again. Nick Knight trying to run it. And all he did was run it into the hands. Nevin, his uh, patient. In he Nicely timed by Thorpe Square on the offside. Well, Tuffy's out there. hit that with a fair amount of power and it's cannoned off uh, Macmillan if that was the shin that's going to have hurt you see it with tremendous power down to long off he didn't stop it he hits him Good running. He's got enough on that to get it through, but not past Tuffy at uh, deep extra cover. Three. single off his last ball, 10 overs for 49, he's 211 for 3 <laughs> heaved away on the leg side that's 4 there's only one man uh, trying to protect that leg side boundary and it's a very short side they have talked about it long and often about Thorpe's role in this team the proof's there 45 in 46 deliveries Full toss, four more, time quite beautifully. That is crashed through the offside for four. Wide base there, he gets himself a wide base. Fast hands, great timing, great bat. That's his 50. Well played, Graham Thorpe. It's his 20th 50 for England in one-day internationals. This one has come in just 48 balls, and he's accelerated the innings at just the right time. It's drilled. Straight down the ground, straight over the umpire's head. No fielders there. That's uh, Flint off at his best. That's better still. Keep your eye on the ball. straight as you like partnerships going well 37 from 31 a bit high on the bat this time just a single got under that but it's still only one eight off the over 231 for three for the fourth oh that's going to go a long way is it not long enough it's a good catch Nathan Astle out at square leg Graham for fine innings round the wicket Chris Cairns I thought he'd absolutely leathered this he's got it on the bottom of the bat watch this for a good catch stay calm jump high and stand still well caught Nathan Astle Wonderful please, a one day cricket, Thorpe's gone for 52, it's 231 for four. Flintoff on strike, and giving himself room, Astle's the man out there again. Good partnership that between... Uh, Very much playing for the team. Pulled away, back with a square, ah, that's a good stroke for four. 
It's a quicker ball from Cairns. He's dragged it down. It's 2.38 for four with one. Waits for it, Collingwood. Fine leg is up inside the circle. He whips the ball away. Back with a square on the leg side. You know, just in Andrew Flintoff on strike. Dug that out. They'll look for two and get it comfortably. Good running Collingwood. It's Collingwood who makes this into two. Just trying to outfox each other. Adams and Flintoff. Adams looking to tuck Flintoff up. Flintoff looking to give himself room. And if he's got that out of the middle, it's going to be six. He hasn't, though. Straight down the throat of Vincent at deep mid-wicket. Flintoff perishes for the cause of the team. Three straight. Just gives himself room again and looks to go high, high, high over mid-wicket. Finds Lou Vincent. Good effort, 19 from 21, 2.40 for five. Then uh, scamper and swing. Just eight matches. He's got bat on it this time and got four from it. That's a good stroke to uh, end England's innings. 244 for five England uh, have made. Australia did that to win two years ago. The highest score ever made to win batting second at McLean Park. Need to defend this and defend it well, England. I feel sure that they will do. I think that he won from Flintoff and Wellington should be way behind these guys now. The nightmare of Wellington. Well, England have been put into bat. 244 for five. They've got a good score. New Zealand's bowlers, well, there's plenty in it early on for the seam bowlers. Butler was a little bit expensive, but he bowled. 50 overs, 4.9 will be the run rate and we'll return here in about 40 minutes time Two New Zealand openers on the way out Nevin and Astor seeing a total like this it's one of the biggest totals chased Here's uh, Goff's first ball. Chris Nevin, take four. Nevin made 21 off just 20 balls. Yep. Good shot. Just going to make it. Snevin. Back foot. He's hanging back there, though. He wants to play on the back foot. Give him the opportunity. And he plays it pretty well. That's a good shot. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but... Uh, Should have been Shah. Well, <laughs> McLean Park Napier has been a lucky ground for Nathan Astle. Ten for no wicket after two overs. a noise there and up goes the finger and off goes Nathan Astor he's not uh, gonna get a century here this evening England strike early well I have to say that that might be a bonus but uh, England might feel their own a few of those anyway Nathan Astor not too happy quite rightly a little unlucky he's gone for two it's ten for one joins uh, Chris Nevin Nathan Astell back in the pavilion. That's away past Shah this time and we'll run into the boundary boards for four. Kiwis. We played a shot very similar to this off Darren Goff. 
Matthew Hoggard. It's just the length. Shah's got this one diving to his left. Four overs gone, 20 for one. Smash past Hussain, and that'll go away for four. As well, as a bowler, you'll be thinking, okay, it's not a half volley, he smashed it on the up. It's going away from him. And three glorious boundary shots. It's past Char again. And that's got enough on it to take it for four. Problems here for England. Scores so quickly. 21 runs now off 17 balls. Well, those successive boundaries have forced uh, Hussain to make a change. He's packed that offside field. Oh. Up in the air. And gone. Looking to play that one into the leg side. So Hoggard gets his revenge. Two. Well, Chris Nevis trying to work this away on the onside. You should know that Matthew Hoggard's looking to shape it away towards the slips. It's turned him square, leading edge, straight up in the air. He's gone for 21, it's 31 for two. 69 he made there. Tempo's okay for New Zealand, but two wickets down already. We're only... That's pulled away with great authority. Flat and fast and hard. And uh, shooting into the advertising hoardings for, for a good player and Fleming has shown in recent times that he loves this shot it usually gets his innings underway he knew he liked that look the swivel and he kept uh, his eyes firmly fixed on the ball thinking that might just go for six it didn't quite Millen uh, nicely through the onside. I think it makes a batsman become more complete when you... Oh, a bowler's armed with the ability to bowl one short ball and over. Oh, that's great bowling. Really good stuff from Darren Goff. It's 39 for two. Spooned, oh, but just wide of Giles. He'll get... Uh, two for that Will McMillan that was perilously close to uh, midweek well his weight's a long way back McMillan he's got to watch what he's doing here he's been pushed back by Goff and Hoggard and he could easily poke one back to the bowler or cover that's in the air up and over cover that's four too wide from Hoggard a bit of width because he's hanging back you can see that the upper frame is leaning back and that's why he carved it behind square instead of over cover and the same must adjust his field to counter for that and to uh, he's back on the 30 meter circle it's 40. two more here and that's the 50 up. 50 up in now. Fighting. Well, could be trouble here. Oh. Fleming uh, back, I think, but the direct hit would have been uh, in. Fleming they had a nasty moment just then. in the air and over mid on Thorpe chasing but he won't get there it's four more to New Zealand's captain Orthodox the shotty I think he looked to try and get it a bit squarer but it did just hold up on him a little 
But he had the presence of mind just to keep the bat, the blade open, and back to strength to clear Graham Thorpe and run away for four. Well, that's Fleming at his best. Big stride and uh, hitting through extra cover. He only gets two for it, but so the execution of the shot was really good. Here he comes. Right on the spot, first ball. I think he's going to be struggling to get uh, an LBW from there. He bowls very wide on the crease, angles the ball back in. Um, he did just get uh, that front pad outside the line of off stump. He's a beaut. Oh, Miss Fields. It's the captain as well. And an expensive wide gives, uh, in effect, three runs away. It's 59 for two. Nevin and Astle, the men out. Hoggard. Thanks, Paul. England bowling figures. Pretty emphatic. got a partnership going here New Zealand 34 from 54 down to third man excellent work Matthew Hoggard down to third man and taken thick outside edge but McMillan goes success for Matthew Hoggard, that's a big wicket for England. Good homework too by England. Bring the field in at third man. He's way in off the boundary edge there, Collingwood. It's a big shot, one too many from Macmillan. Safe hands, Paul Collingwood. My goodness, yes, England are well in this game. New Zealand 70 for three. Batsman, just 150 for Vincent. This is his 30th one day international. Two wickets now for Matthew Hoggard. Two Vincent off the mark. Well, what a delivery that was. Andrew Fintoff was the up in the air it goes it's going to bounce safely has it gone all the way well he won't see it it's a very dark area down there underneath the lights there he goes Billy true Billy Bowden tradition signal six quick delivery again gets a shoulder of the back and sails into the crowd but it's a very different view for umpires and fielders it's a dark area down there directly underneath the floodlight might get worse too better over for New Zealand this time 84 for 3 from 19 after it uh, it wasn't that short but it's pulled away pretty well should be cut off and Sir Giles gets to it so just the two joined by Gavin Larson and uh, player saw him score a, a neat little 36 down at the stadium at Wellington just uh, pick up the one that's a good shot that's going to be boundary and let it slip away he's an elegant player Stephen Fleming and this is him at his very best he plays at his best when he's hitting down the ground through the extra cover and mid on region and when he presents the full face of the bat the problems for Stephen Fleming begin when he starts using half the bat looking to work it down to third man
by from the over. 101 for three. Well, top edge. It's uh, going to fetch two runs. Could have gone anywhere. So. Vincent's been looking to sweep, but hasn't really found that timing. And there again, no real timing. He's got it away, finer. Not exactly where he was looking to pick up his runs. We slipped there in the outfield, and again. And Fleming comes back for three. That's well run. Well, it's well run, but it's pretty poor fielding. It buys the single, but... Uh, Oh, is Shah the man after it? And you have to begin to wonder, what is that? I think he carries his own sandpit around with him. Well, he slipped again. I'm not sure he's the man that, uh, well, he did well there to pull that back, but... Vincent running hard, that's good running. Excellent running. In the air, gone. White at backward point, gets rid of Vincent. Collingwood getting the ball to swing, and swing just enough. Vincent couldn't get over the top of that, and that is a good breakthrough for England. Well, he's one of Collie's wobblers. Have a look at this, it just drifts away. Inviting shot spews off the outside edge how many do we see caught there in one day cricket safe hands Craig White Lou Vincent 29 128 for four New Zealand has the ability to take a bowling attack completely apart average is just under 30 400s 1850s bowler ball chipped straight down the throat of Andrew Flintoff at deep mid wicket the England boys know that that is a very important wicket. The move flinked off. It's a little off cutter. It's a slower ball. He flicks it. May have hit it early. It looks as if it's six. Look at flinked off. Near the line. Never moves. Never flinches. And it's a drop kick back. And it's Cairns who's on his way back. Still can't get any runs. 140 for five. Newsly experienced. Needs runs. New Zealand need runs. He's in averaging 31 Harris and well that's got a bit of pad and then uh, flick Truscothic's glove so it'll be leg buys and if Truscothic's quick it'll be trouble for Fleming well that was good work how all that unravelled that's just clipped the pad Now then, with a oh, direct hit out. It was Harris that was uh, sprawling into his ground. Good work from Truscothic. <laughs> this time the finger goes up. It's nearly all over for New Zealand. They're six down now. And this is a magic spell by Paul Collingwood. Three for 17 is figures now. A long way home here for New Zealand. They still need 93. Magnificent bowling. That is a beautiful dismissal. Classic sort of LBW. Harris gone for three. 152 for six. Fleming's gone after that. He needs plenty more of those, but that's a good start by the New Zealand skipper he's on to 62 but the home side need 8 and over he's not waiting for Giles he's trying to hit Collingwood out of the park that's well caught O.A. Shah running in takes the catch running in from uh, long off but they need a further 77 runs and Collingwood's picked up 4 just felt Adams was ready to launch and true to his word he uh, had a go it got it right in the splice a good catch from Shah on the deep Adams gone for two 168 for seven left arm spinner Daniel Vittori about to that's a cracking shot 
Way through extra cover for four. And a stunning blow from Vittori there. And whackity do. Not pretty, but boy, he punched that. Spanking stroke. This one's up in the air. There's no fielder out there. Matthew Hoggard has to do the chasing. Ah! Well, that looks pretty straight. Straight enough. No success for Vittori with the... Oh, dear. The crooked finger. See you later, says Billy Bowden. Vittori goes for nine, 180 for eight. Yeah! Oh, Duffy going to uh, attempt to heave Giles over mid-wicket and uh, hit him into Hastings. I'm afraid he's lost his off stump. And more on concentrating, more on accuracy. And this will do Ashley Giles a, big, a lot of good as well. Tuffy's gone for one. It's 186 for nine. That's a pretty good shot. That's what I was saying about getting his arms free. Gave himself a little bit of room. Got the arms free. It's going to be leg buys. And it's going to be four of them. Useful runs for New Zealand. They're up past 200. It doesn't matter how they come. Stephen Fleming won't mind. I'll take that as four and have done with it. The problem is he hasn't got the strike and Darren Goff is now coming back into the attack. Well, I'm not sure that's pretty respectable. That's uh, almost cleaned him up. A bit of glove and it's uh, hit him hard. You're right. He did. That's top bowling from Darren Goff. That's the way to end the game. That's the way to get rid of the number 11 clattered him on uh, the side of the head and then slipped the Yorker Ian Butler had no answer spare a thought for Stephen Fleming left high and dry on 76 England though have won this third game by 43 runs it's a pretty good comeback win delighted with the way his team's come back he's set to the side ok you boys underperformed you let, us, you let England down yourselves down Wellington now go out there and put things right they've done that now, I don't expect to see too much of a change now going up to Auckland and New Zealand uh, was set 245 to win this game they just managed to scrape past 200 pretty impressive bowling figures for England Matthew Hoggard at the top bowling his 10 overs straight through 2 for Flintoff 7 overs number 34 Craig White a bit of a worry there for England, I think. Three overs, none for 15. Ashley Giles back to his best today. Ten overs, one maiden. Two for 32 in the surprise package. Paul Collingwood. Eight overs, no maidens. Four for 38. So that's the story of this third one day international. England were put into bat. They made 244 for five. It was a three runs. And they're back in the series.